Mmm, these ice cream cones look delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be making a four scoop ice cream cone using different tints of a color of your choice. So here I've made a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone, and here I've made a blueberry, and today we are going to be making my favorite black raspberry using some purple paint. So you guys are gonna start with a pencil. I'm gonna show you this with a purple colored pencil because I think it'll be a little easier to see in the video. And what we're gonna do is start at the bottom of our paper by drawing a big V. And we are using an 18 inch tall piece of paper by six inches wide for this project. At the top of that V, we are going to be making three bumps. One, two, three, just like that. And you're gonna imagine that you have a big scoop of ice cream there, but we don't need to draw it. We're just gonna leave some space and we're gonna do another three. One, two, three. So that's one scoop, two scoops. We gotta do two more, leave a little bit of room. One, two, three. And don't worry about if they're even or messed up right now because we can always use paint and fix it. Now we have one more to do. One, two, three. And now we're gonna add in our cherry at the top. So this is kind of like a heart but you're gonna round it at the bottom. And then we'll add in a little stem. And now we're gonna connect all the scoops. So we're just gonna do a curved line here. I'm gonna go from one side, curve it into the cherry. Now I'm gonna do a curved line here. And that's all there is to it for the sketching. Now we're ready to paint. So you're gonna start with some brown tempera paint and you are going to paint in the cone Make sure you are painting over top of those pencil lines. We don't wanna see them. We just wanna see the beautiful paint that you are putting on your paper. All right, so once your cone is painted in, you are going to wash off your paintbrush and make sure that you dry it as well. You don't wanna use a wet paintbrush when we're using these tempera paints. So you're gonna start with your bottom color and this you're not gonna do anything. You're just gonna use it right out of the cup just the way it is and paint it that color. So here I'm using purple and I'm going to fill in over top of those pencil lines this whole bottom layer. All right, so once I have my bottom layer done, I'm gonna get my tray and here I'm using a paper plate um, you can have a paper plate tray, it doesn't matter, Any, anywhere you can mix your paint. You are going to add in some white paint to your tray. And then you are going to add in some purple paint. And I'm just going to mix part of it. And what I want to do is just get a lighter tint of purple. So I don't want it super light because I'm going to have four different shades here. But I just want it a little bit lighter. And you can test it out by when you paint it, painting right next to the next layer. So you can see that's lighter and I'm gonna paint in this next scoop of ice cream. All right, now we're gonna make it even lighter, so we're gonna add in a little more white to that, what we already mixed up. Mix it up really good. And test it out. Yep, that's lighter. We'll paint in our next scoop here. All right, we have one more tint to go, so this is gonna be our lightest tint of the color, so I'm gonna add in a lot more white here. And now I want it to be almost white, but with like a tint of purple. Looks good, and then I'll paint in this final scoop of ice cream. All right, now we're ready for our cherry, so I'm going to wash off my paintbrush and dry it off. And then I'm gonna get some of my red temper paint and I'm going to paint in my cherry here. And I don't really need to clean my paintbrush for this next part. I can just wipe off the red and go ahead and get some brown and I will paint in my stem. And finally, we're gonna add in those little stripes for the cone here. So again, I'm gonna wipe off my paintbrush, get some black paint for this next one. And we're gonna be doing a couple lines. They kind of follow that same angle as the sides of the cone. One. Two, it's gonna be like two or three going each direction here.
All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. If you guys wanna add in some chocolate chips like I did with my mint chocolate chip, you can always do that. I did use the handle of my paintbrush and just kind of dotted it on for that. And of course you can add in some sprinkles, maybe some different dots of different colors. It's your ice cream cone, so I want you guys to design it however you like it. And as always, if I don't get to see this in person, please, please, please tweet me a picture of your artwork. I would absolutely love to see what you guys are doing at home. And as always, most important, number one thing, have fun.